Cobra Man, and he's on his outside broadcast. Outside broadcast! Eh? That's the Cobra Man's car there, look. Can you see it? That's the Cobra Man's, is that? Go on, man. That's Cobra Man's car, right, and we're in the outside broadcast. Freezing cold here. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means when it's a red sky. Uh, the, uh, the day after, is it supposed to be a really nice day? Or is it supposed to be a, uh, a really cold day? Anyway, when I was younger, I swear to you, I can remember watching this motorway being built. I remember it being built, I'm not joking. And I can remember when it was first built, it were, uh, it was just steady traffic, you know, you, it was easy, nice and steady driving. Just look at it now, see if we can get some of the waivers. <laughs> I'm waving it up there, but they're not having it, are they? All, look at all that, all stood still. From as far as the eye can see, look at that, right up there. Where are they all going? Where do they all live? Quite unbelievable, lads. Anyway, look, it's too cold for me to stand here. Too cold. I'm on the bridge. But I'm a local lad, look, I've still got my, trip, my slippers on. <laughs> Can't see them, but they're my slippers. <laughs> I thought I'd show you the outside broadcast. That's the M62, by the way anybody looking and uh, that's uh, Junction 26 area Junction 26 and the time is about uh, 4 o'clock tea time half past 4, 4 o'clock tea time, something like that eh? really good isn't it just the same the other side <laughs> anyway so let's get back in that and uh, say goodbye it's my little old car there my mate Pat got me that, didn't you, Pat? You bloody swine! Q5 takes six action. Got it wrong, lads. It's about five to... It's about five to five. And uh, look at it, it's seven. Seven Celsius. Anyway, let's wake this animal up there. Show you uh, how my car wakes up there. Diesel. Clock, 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 Good old bus. Eh? It'll rev up in 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, um, I only live over there, lads. I live right over there. And uh, you can see why I get quite a reasonable tech off. Uh, we're 560 feet-ish above sea level here. About 560 feet. And that's where I was stood over there a minute ago. Okay. So anyway, we'll go back in, let's, let's get into the workshop, it's a lot warmer in there. And, uh, and I'll show you some uh, Am Internationals that I've been playing with. I seem to be in an Am International uh, mood lately. So, uh, forget this Cobra man, I'm going to call myself the Am International man. Goodbye! Love is a burning thing. <laughs> Can't see you now. But uh, audio now coming out of there. Won't sound very good to you. It doesn't sound very good to me neither. I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I did. I went down, down. Right, shut up a minute. Hey, right, lads. Uh, you've seen me there on the outside broadcast. Uh, it's, uh, I want to say a few things here. This is not a comedy video, but I do feel in quite a witty mood today. Um, got a President Grant on the table. This is the Mark II model, I believe. Uh, the one with the dual finals and uh, the heat sink up the back. Low, mid and higher standard. Um, here's another Grant. There's nothing wrong with this fella, but uh, I'm using him for voltage measurements. Uh, this animal, uh, I've got paperwork for it, of course. Uh, but this animal's got some serious technical issues in its PSU area here and it only come to the night uh, I've got PLL out as you can see 
Um, someone's done some conversions on it and uh, you can see it's a bit tatty here. I'm considering taking the lot off there. I'm not sure what the conversion is that they've done. Now then, uh, because the PSU is so upset here down here, there's no TXRX supplies at all running. Uh, hence I've got its, uh, its two regulators out. Uh, one that supplies the receive supply and one that supplies the uh, TX supplies in the in the preamp stages shall we call it you know the law the law uh, the law drive stages you know just to get the circuits working and there's only two volts going to PLL you know if it's uh, VDD supplies only two volts here <laughs> no LED readout she's really upset I uh, don't worry love don't worry anyway I always thought the Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash were an homosexual record. <laughs> anyway, Cybernets, Cybernets. Well, is that worth repairing? I fell for you like a child. I could sit here telling jokes, you know. I heard a joke the other day on radio. Very simple, but it didn't half make me laugh. He said, uh, my mate Gary Flatcap, he said, uh, two moths on a wall, two moths on a wall, minding their own business. One moth says to other moth, I'm off. <laughs> I'm off! Oh, never mind. Anyway, uh, no, I'm not, we won't be, uh, we won't be uh, putting this one back right again. And it's still got its crystals in there, look. They're really upset. It's an old multi-mod tool, lads. You think it'll talk stateside again? Eh? Ah, I'm not so sure. I would imagine, you know, I mean, I used to love it one time. I used to absolutely love uh, getting something like that up and running. I really did, as long as circuit board were in decent nick and ease. You know, it makes me wonder why a lad originally scrapped that. You know, uh, I've seen them really bad round tank area. But, that, you know, circuit for circuit, that'd repair, wouldn't it? You know, that would repair, really. We'll have to see, but there's enough cybernets knocking around. I picked uh, a right clean multi-mod up the other day. Now can you see him? He's a clean animal, isn't he, for a multi-mod too. They normally, don't, uh, they normally don't come with a right nice shine on top like that. You know. You know, you see, that there's a reason for that, lads, in our country. Uh, the multi-mod 2s and the uh, and rigs like uh, the Lafayette 1200s and stuff like that there were some of the early sideband sets in our country so they really really uh, they had every conversion known to man uh, everyone converted them and uh, and there's another one this is a Colt 1200 and I will be uh, that, I will be putting that right when I get round to it and I know you see it now in quite a state but I swear to you lads this one's never had a soldier nine in it Never had a solder nine in that ever. It really is all original. No, it's been robbed out of it. No, it's all original. And uh, and that's how really they should look. You know, I've uh, I've moved this. This is bulb that's gone. For this is it, I band bulb or whatever here. Uh, well, that's how they should look around PLL area. You know. Ah, but it's in right good nick. But at the end of the day, it's only a Cybernet 12, but, but you see, I grew up with Cybernet sets. I grew up with them, lads. And I talked talk way around the world on them. And, um, and yeah, we all know that these radios, it's a lot smoother and what have you. Um, but I, uh, I'm really quite addicted to them. I found them uh, very exciting. I know that there's... The pack, you know what I mean? There's a lot going on inside a Cybernet. There is in all radios, but uh, they're really interesting. And they still are to this day. Uh, we've got a few of them there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's one that my mate right likes, uh, number 10. It can produce a Radio 5. It's an old major. And there's another one above it there. Can you see that? And uh, the one I hate there, a TriStar. I hate them. I hate them. And we got another Exhibit D here that will never come back to life. There's too many parts missing from it. And um, and of course, we've got my Jumbo. <laughs> T-1000. 
to me a jumbo is just a multi mode 2 in a big box with a 3 amp power pack. Aye. The ring of fire. The taste. I love his <laughs> sweet. <laughs> ah, shut up. Anyway, you know that fella that contacted me for the knobs there? Um, could you write to me and ask if it's alright if I send you my address? I'd like you to post me them knobs if you will and I'd like to pay you some at forum um, let me know if you've got PayPal and if you've got PayPal uh, give me the details of your uh, your email address there and I'll send you 6,788 quid <clears throat> I can tell you we're always a romancer anyway so I'll get back on with this now and, um, and I'll wave a hand as I say hello to everybody again and goodbye and I agree with some of your uh, people saying let's have loads and loads of videos in 212 well why not I go to some people's YouTube and they've got hundreds and hundreds of videos and I've only got I've only got a few really when you look at it haven't I and uh, and you know what I mean uh, you know you know might as well keep talking bollocks <laughs> anyway I'll uh, I'll try and show you some stuff uh, more interesting later on what can I say I will get back into this now I'm just studying the PSU arrangement here and uh, and once I suss out why uh, why voltages don't add up or what's pulling it down just give you an idea of the current demand of this animal it draws 118 milliamp from power supply eh? 118 milliamp so he's really upset he's very very dead but that's good because if you were drawing 2 amp or something like that there's something seriously wrong you see I always put bias board out uh, when you've got a PSU problem with a radio and a, on a Uniden type set and then it, uh, you know you just know that you're not having any current demand going to these last thing we want it to do is transmit at this stage uh, like you see in other my videos so we just get rid of that the PLL obviously it can't work without PLL but because I know there's only two volts there and someone's put a socket in already I could just pull it out and I know that uh, there's not going to be pulling that rail down and let's just get the PSU up and running these trannies down here very similar to Cobra 148 area I really like the Grant by the way they really can produce unbelievable audio on SSB um, I just want to tell you that the Morganier the furry one that you see when I point down to, to there and uh, and Morganier is cleaning itself on the 1969 video it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger all the time it's really getting fat I like fat furry cats, I really like fat, slightly overbeast Morgan years. and it's getting there, it's getting there. Trouble is I might have to sell an HF radio to keep up with the cost of feeding the bloody article. So catch you later everybody, 10-10, so we do it again. And the flames were fired, and it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. working as a preamp you see so you won't see them meters moving she's only working as a preamp all inputs go into there you see and then it gets broken up into two that slave amp drives one set and that uh, integrated amp drives another set but uh, it's not my hi-fi lads my hi-fi is down there my hi-fi is downstairs but it just gives me something to make noise I'm going to move them speakers uh, all being well today uh, this one as well like I said in other video exhibit F will go don't show that they'll see me on monitor you through you don't want to make horror someone said that it was my mate Daryl Daryl he says it'd be nice to see you there Cobra man uh, put a face to the voice and all Daryl I don't make horror films we're not making horror films here pal alright Anyway, see you in a bit, lads. All the best. Two, five, two. And we're gone now. What do you say, Johnny? It burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire.